So I'd like to take a look at the three new helicopters that are in Real Flight Evolution. I was just flying the Fusion 480 stretch, and we'll get back to that. We're going to go to the little guy right now. We have the new Blade, well, new to Real Flight, the Blade 150S available in the simulator. I used Control F to bring up that handy dandy search dialog. We'll spin it up into idle up two and take off. This is 150 millimeter blades, so we're talking about a very small helicopter. It def doesn't take up a lot of space on your screen. Uh, so you have to keep it in close to fly well. It punches out pretty well. Not super duper aggressive, but it's got some. It does it does its job. You can hit it pretty hard. I am not really an extra expert helicopter pilot. I can do a few flips here and there and keep it from getting into too much trouble. But I'm not going to be able to show you any chaoses or pyro flips or anything fun like that. But you can see there's a there's a good amount of power in the in the collective on this, but nothing that's you know completely insane. We'll get to that a little bit later. Well, not insane, but we'll get to some more aggression later. The And speaking of which, oh, don't fly over here. That's where I'm standing. Um, speaking of which, let's pull up the blade Infusion 180. This is a little bit more uh, aggressive helicopter than the 150S in my experience, but not a lot. It spins 180 millimeter blade. What's interesting about it is that it's a direct drive heli. There's a big outrunner motor underneath the main rotor, and it's what it's driving the main rotor directly through the shaft. No gear is in the way. Of course, it has a fixed pitch direct drive tail rotor as well on a little brushless motor. Um, it's got a little bit more punch than the 150S. Here, let's get it to a hover, and we'll give it a punch out. So you can see there's a little bit more power in the collective here. Not a ton, but a little bit more. Those that bigger rotor span really helps out. I think the helicopters carry a pretty similar amount of power but we're putting it through a bigger rotor disc and that gives us some little more help. But I enjoy this helicopter a lot, both in the sim and in the real world. Um, these direct drive helicopters really sound cool because you don't get any gear wind to go with the blade sound. Let's go ahead and land this and we'll flip to something bigger. So the next up, I've got the Blade Fusion 480 Stretch. Searching for on Fusion. And this is a blade uh, in Fusion for in blade Fusion 480 that's been given a longer tail boom and 550 millimeter tail rotors. Uh, excuse me, 550 millimeter main rotor blades. Uh, I think it spins a slightly larger tail rotor blade as well. Now this gets us into that larger uh, feeling of more presentation available from the heli. Um, it really flies well. I haven't flown one of these in the physical world, but I've talked to a bunch of the guys over at Blade who do, and uh, it really, to me, feels a lot like a 700 millimeter machine, 700 size machine that would spin 700 millimeter blades. It's just got a big presentation in the air. Uh, it uses uh, all the same parts except for those swaps as a Blade Fusion 480, great part support from Blade, and uh, it's a helicopter that you can you know, take to the field and get some speed under and really fly around and work your routines. Once again, I am not the expert pilot that should really be demonstrating the capabilities of these machines, but I do want to show you that they're here in real flight now, uh, and I really enjoy flying them. So that are the, those are the three new helicopters uh, in real flight evolution. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the sim, and for that matter, flying out in the real world. Get out there and fly. Thanks, everybody.